All right, guys, welcome to part two, the gallery gasket replacement. We are uh, in the process of cleaning the old gasket material and getting the parts ready to go back in. want to make sure get all the residue off of there because the new gaskets they're a reinforced gasket they're not thin like the paper ones but they still do have to have a perfectly flat surface to seal off set these aside clean this up and uh, we'll bring the front cover over here and start cleaning it Shit. we're gonna wash it out with brake clean the whole back side of it when we get done but just be careful not not to drop any of the gasket pieces down behind these So got everything clean except for the back plate area. Now before I do that, you may have noticed while I was cleaning the uh, front cover, 
and the back sides of the plates that when I use the scotch Brite, it makes a little uh, sediment, some particles come off of it. I don't want any of that stuff getting into these oil passages. So before I continue cleaning this, I'm gonna go ahead and install the gallery gaskets and the plates so that all the oil passages are nice and sealed up and none of the sediment gets in there. I do wanna mention that we have these new revised gallery gaskets. They're not just a paper gasket, they're actually a metal reinforced gasket. So this is a revised part numbers to fix the issue. I'm also going to install these Allen head bolts rather than those Phillips heads we removed. They're much easier to install and get torqued to the proper spec.
Okay, so now that we've finished cleaning that side, I'm gonna take some uh, Honda Bond. This is just my preferred gasket maker. You can use whatever kind you like. Go ahead and apply the gasket maker around the surface and we'll put the front cover back on. All right, now that we have our gasket maker in place, we're gonna put the cover on. Just be mindful that the bottom of the uh, front cover has gasket maker on it too, as you saw. And uh, make sure that you, when you set it in here, you're real careful not to push all the uh, gasket maker off of it. All right, so you may have noticed <clears throat> that I ran the larger 14 millimeter headed bolts in with the impact, but I did the smaller 10 millimeters by hand. That's just to prevent from cross threading any of the holes and causing any further complication like that. Now, before I torque any of them, I'm gonna take the two that go through the oil pan and go ahead and get those started in their holes and run them down. Now, I did get a little excess right here by the uh, dipstick hole. I'm just going to clean that off so I don't have any issue when I'm going to put it back in either. 
All right, so first I'm gonna snug these bottom ones. Also, when I get done, I'm gonna come back and check them too. Okay, so we got one more thing we're gonna do. I have a new uh, front main seal. Gonna pry this old one out, knock the new one in. That's it for our gallery gasket video. Uh, normally if you guys are doing this job, the next step would be to put the oil pan on, but on this particular car, this being my uh, Z that we're trying to get back going, I'm gonna be ordering the uh, Z1 oil pan spacer and we'll install that in another video. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. We'll see you next time.